The White Walker's origins are a mystery to most humans. Only the ancient children of the forest remember the truth of how they came to be. Over 8,000 years before the War of the Five Kings, the children of the forest were locked in a war with the first men, who had migrated to Westeros from Essos. Despite resorting to powerful magic, which allowed them to flood the neck and even destroy the land bridge linking the two continents and reducing it to a chain of islands, the children were losing ground. More and more of them fell to the first men and the precious forests were being cut down. Out of desperation, a small group of greenseers attempted to create a powerful new weapon against the humans. They bound a captive man to a weirwood and pressed a cursed shard of dragon glass into his heart. The unfortunate captive was transformed into a cold, heartless, deathless creature whose only desire was to consume all life. He would become the progenitor of the White Walker race and led his kind on a campaign of destruction, not only against humans, but against his creators as well. Soon the children saw that their creation had grown beyond their control, and forged an alliance with the first men to avoid mutual destruction. In what would become known as the Battle for the Dawn, the Alliance beat the White Walkers back to the far north, where they vanished. This victory led to a lasting truce between the children and the First Men. The children would keep their forests, and the men could keep their farms, towns, and cities. The truce also marked the creation of both the Wall and the Night's Watch, the latter having been armed by the children with dragon glass blades, in case the Walkers should ever return.